What is going on everybody? John Blade 101 here again and I am back with another video and today's topic of discussion is what happened to the console war? For those who do not know what the console war is, don't worry guys, I have a definition from Wikipedia to try to give you kind of what the jits of the console war is and I'm also going to read off a quote from the Urban Dictionary because some, they have kind of like a do two different meanings so I'm going to try to give both to you. So for the Wikipedia quote, a console war is a competition for dominance and market share in video game consoles. The main competition is in home video game consoles and handheld video game console markets, although there is also micro consoles and dedicated consoles. So that is the kind of corporate definition of what the console war is. That's kind of what what it actually should probably mean. But of course the gamers and the way people use it on YouTube is a completely different meaning in the sense of um, how it's uh, used. So the way it's been used on YouTube is mostly competition between the consoles and more into specs and stuff like that. So this is a definition from the Urban Dictionary and a little bit of insight onto where the console word, the console war, actually the word actually came from. So bear with me here as I read this off. All right, according to Urban Dictionary, the word console war broke, came out when a little competition broke into a petty argument caused by Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft fanboys all hurling insults at each other's consoles. So what he said there is that it was a competition that broke off between Nintendo and Sega, I believe, back in the 90s, when uh, the 90s and 80s, and escalated with Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, which were the kind of we got the console war right now, the current console war, and it kind of spun off into this really petty argument. So, yes, that's pretty much what the console war is nowadays, guys. It's really not many, much about the facts or anything like that. At least some most of the time you hear about it on YouTube, it's really not the case. It's more about kind of trying to spin uh, whatever happens to your favorite console and spin it to your agenda to make your console feel better. I mean, make to make your console look better and for you to feel better about your purchase about your console. And that is always not very. That's not very good, people. That's not what gaming should be about. It should be about gaming. Should be about competition. Yes, but healthy competition is where I draw the line. I kind of want competition not to be just about throwing a bunch of stuff at each other and taking shots at one another. It's more about trying to factually prove arguments and kind of make the game industry escalate and it's not of just staying stagnant and allowing anything just to happen just because it's made by your favorite company. And that's pretty much what I want to emphasize here is that these companies and these corporations are not here for you to kind of not worship them, but you just like accept anything they give you and on a silver platter. It's mostly about you. This all this is about you, guy gamer. If you're a gamer, this is all about your wallet, and this is about what they want, what they want to get from you from your wallet. And if you do not like the service you're getting or how um, how your console is turning out, then you have the right not to buy it. Or you can also with the social media nowadays, like YouTube or s Facebook or Twitter or however you want to do it, these companies actually have a Twitter page that you can always come to and just ask them for stuff, ask them and request things from them, and maybe you you're and maybe if you get enough support, you can actually get a following behind you, and you can actually make some change. It's not like it was back in the 90s and 80s where anyone didn't really have an idea of how to make stuff different except with just with their wallet. And it was kind of like non-consciously doing it. It wasn't like I was doing this just because I know that they're watching and I'm just going to prove to them that I'm not going to buy this. It was more like... I just don't want it, I'm not going to buy it. But now that we have more voices, we can actually speak to these companies directly and ask, ask them specifically what we want. So that's one of the great things about the internet nowadays and I do appreciate that. So the console war has always been pretty, I mean not always been petty as the definition stated, it was a little competition between Nintendo and Sony. I mean not Sony, but Sega in the 1980s, like you know, like Sega does with Nintendo, stuff like that. But now in uh, this current generation, like since these maybe the sep sixth, seventh, and eighth generation consoles, this is kind of where the console war has gotten a little bit out of hand, and there's been a lot of misinformation being spread around. So I'm not going to get into that misinformation now, but I'm just talking about in generality when it's talking about specific uh, what the console war is now and kind of how it was before. So. If, as you've seen, this Cinema Ma Cine Massacre, aka the A Green Video Game Nerd, actually had a pretty good video about the Sega Genesis and the SNES. And he actually kind of did talk about the whole 
uh, the console war thing and how Sony would have the whole and Sega does when Nintendo don't have like blast processing and stuff like that. All this corporate stuff that they said not necess- necessarily is a lie because the Sega Genesis did have a faster processor than the NES, even though the NES beat it in almost every other regard in terms of specs. It still had had the Sega Genesis kind of hold on to one little thing in terms of hardware power that kind of had people still want to choose it over the SNES. Now that's not necessarily a bad set use of the console war. Of course, gamers gamers nowadays are different from they are then, but you get what I mean. So that's pretty much really how I wanted to talk about the console wars and how nowadays it's just I just see a lot of stuff on YouTube with misinformation spread, obvious agendas and biases there and stuff like that. And it's just not very pleasant to be honest. Phil Spencer himself actually went on went on <laughs> went on record saying that he finds console fanboys or Xbox fanboys distasteful. Those were his exact words, distasteful. And so I guess it's just way of just saying he doesn't like them. So yeah, this is kind of all I wanted to say guys today, a little quick video today, just me talking about what I think about the console war and how it's kind of changed since, you know, Nintendo and Sega to now the current gen, 8th gen generation console war. So, yeah, this is John Blade 101 everybody, and I bid y'all good day. Have a good one.